Okay, I think I've made enough progress to make a third video now. So I've done a quick title screen in a bunch of little tiny, just two random animations there. And you've got this parallax growing thing there. So when you start, obviously you're not going to be immediate in this room. Now, uh, I've managed to sort out this code in the uh, the random generation where the item was, the item thing there was basically going in almost every single room. So I've managed to isolate that and add a couple of new rooms. Uh, but that also comes with a bug uh, throughout the game where a boss room, item room, the shop, uh, the treasure room, you know, they'll all spawn maybe one or two in the same room sometimes. So I'll need to figure out a way to, to sort that out uh, because that isn't really ideal. So I've got a quick reanimation there for the shopkeeper, the items there that will deduct the, uh, the coins from the player. If he chooses to buy these items. So at the moment, if you go into any of them, they'll basically keep producing uh, coins and adding um, the bomb and key uh, almost instantly. Uh, so I'll need to find a way, finish a code in there, so it will delete and respawn. So it doesn't really do that like every single step. So every empty room now is just going to be completely filled with monsters. I might add a room that'll be empty, but I'm not really sure if I'll get that in the result. But I'll, I'll add that in in just a wee moment and see if that actually works. Uh, right, so all the items that are spawning, I've tried. Every time you've like sort of cleared a room, it should spawn a random item. Uh, I've no managed to get that working yet, so I'm going to do that later. Uh, all the items that are spawning into the walls as well, I need to get that to bounce off the solid. As you can probably tell, the doors have only got a single pixel line down at the edges to stop the monsters running out of the room. Uh, I can change the doors to object solid so the monsters won't uh, go into the doors. Uh, so, let's see. We'll just keep going, I think. Let's see what else, right? Oh, I didn't even mention that. The bombs are now working. Keys you can now pick up and also use on the chest when you pick them up. And it will spawn five random objects. Why does that look so bloody uneven? Is that me? Looks uneven for some reason. You know the the walls. Let's just be the time of the day. <coughs> so yeah, if I can get the items to bounce up the walls, that'd be great because it's kind of annoying when you you can't pick up an item that's stuck. Not that at the end, you know, at the end of the day, these are, uh, anyways, I'm going to each be spawning uh, an item like that. This is no what I'm really wanting because you'll end up with uh, way too many items than you really need. I've uh, sorted the, uh, the invincibility, but for the sake of this playthrough, I've left the damage off. Well, it works a lot better than last one because you just couldn't do anything at all. As soon as you hit somebody, that was it. You just stopped dead in his tracks and he, he wouldn't be able to fire or anything, he just immediately did. So, yeah, this is a uh, that change has worked quite well. So, again, that's what we need to do with this. Um, I saw that. Now the thing with the uh, that room is, I want the player to be able to have like a random amount of health lost. Then it will spawn an item, any kind of random item. 
instead of just touching it and that immediately spawns five hundred. So that's a bit it's a bit heavy. So I'll go through some of the glitches here now. Uh, as again I'm pointing to all these keys, coins, that and the walls. I really need to get that out of the way and sort of them. So I don't have to really worry about that. That scrolling thing, I want to change that as well. <coughs> but I'll do that later on. So, uh, one thing I have noticed is if, if you are going through the doors and you happen to be right on the edge, this will happen. You'll get locked behind there. It's a bit annoying because if you're brushing out, um, you know, that's it. You're pretty much going to have to restart and try again. So what I'm thinking of doing, actually I'll show you here. Yeah. This is what I, this is what I've noticed that's happened a few times. It'll just be presented with a blank screen. It's because you've walked out of the the uh, the room. Um so I'll need to extend the 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 sort of the warp zone. That'll take you to the next room. And hopefully that will work. And right, I think what we'll do now is to show you if I can get a generation on here, if you want. Check a couple of bombs at these guys. Yeah, as you can see, he's kicking the bomb and you're facing the direction you want to kick it. It doesn't really work that way. Um, how it's worked is you've got to press the directional button and move in the same direction in order for the bomb to move that way. It's a bit strange, it's a bit weird to get used to, but I um, just want it to be an immediate you walk at the bomb and go that direction that you're facing. I also need to get the enemies to be damaged by the fire. See, look at that. That's just, that's just really off, uh, off doing that. We've got a bit too much. So as you can tell, this is a boss room and the shop. I mean, I'm not really sure why it's doing this. It really should do it, but the same way I did the with the item code and got that to stop spoiling the item spools, I'll just have to do the same thing and see if that works for stopping a spawn like boss rooms item rooms together. Uh, so, um, almost done. And one not last thing I'll need to to insert in here as I've done a splash screen for the versus the uh, the boss at Don Kenna. And the the area in the code I need to put this in order for it to create every time we walk into the boss room is a bit annoying. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna actually put that but so far uh, I've had no luck getting it to spawn up in the right place. So I'll need to just keep thinking about the code, see what works, and when it does, uh, probably put up another video when all the errors, all the glitches, all the bugs are all fixed, and then move on from there. 